Oh, it is really spiky. Hi. I'm at my friend Stephanie's place and uh, Stephanie's got these two great yuzu trees out front and she's allowing me to pick them and we're gonna make some things with them later. So this is a yuzu. Got some delivery guys going by. Anyway, uh, this is a very Japanese citrus fruit and it's really, really great. It's not sour like a lemon, but it's not as sweet as an orange and it just it has really distinct flavor and it's really, really great. It's really good for, for baking or cooking with. I guess you could eat it plain. I don't think I've ever really done that. Anyway, I'm really lucky and happy that I get to pick them and cook stuff um, here at my friend's place. So I'm gonna pick these all and we're gonna go inside. So there's a lot of things we could make with yuzu, but since the holidays are coming up, we decided to make some yuzu sugar cookies. So I'm gonna start by putting some flour, a cup and a half flour. This is baking soda. The first time I bought it in Japan was very difficult. So if you're looking for it, it looks like that. And this is half a teaspoon. And quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna mix that up. I don't have a zester, so I'm just trying to get as much of the skin off without the white part as I can. I think I'm gonna need a couple of tablespoons of this. So next, I'm gonna take eight tablespoons of butter and beat it for a while. Okay, so I beat that butter for a while. My arm's kind of tired. Probably should have beat it a bit more. But I'm gonna go to the next step, which is adding sugar. You can use white sugar or light brown sugar like I'm using. This is uh, two thirds of a cup. And the yuzu zest. So I was cutting this up before, if you have a zester, that's great. And use two tablespoons, but I really like this, so I'm putting more. Maybe about three, ta three teaspoons that I put. Because I'm using brown sugar instead of white sugar this time, I forgot that the recipe also calls for brown sugar, an extra four tablespoons. So I'm using a different kind that's a bit darker. I'm gonna add four tablespoons now. Now that I have that butter and sugar and yuzu zest um, beaten up, I'm gonna get some juice. I need four teaspoons. Two eggs. Okay, so now I'm gonna get this wet um, mixture into the dry stuff. Okay, that's starting to look right now. Also, I did subtract a tablespoon of sugar and did add a teaspoon of yuzu, so maybe it is a bit more wet. Okay, so the batter, is, or the dough, is ready. Maybe I said batter because it's still quite wet, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon and just get about this much, maybe a bit less, about this much dough on here kind of get it cleaned up. And then I'm gonna dip it in some sugar. So I've mixed white sugar with some kind of colorful, fancy sugar, but just white sugar is fine. And put it on a greased cookie sheet. Like that. Let's see if I can get it. 
There are all kinds of people in this world and there's all kinds of shapes of cookies too. So these are ready to go in and I'm gonna bake them at 350 for about 12 minutes. That's not the oven. <laughs> So we're gonna wait. Okay, so it's been 11 minutes. Uh, I heard this oven runs kind of hot, so I'm gonna check on them now. <laughs> well, they smell good. And they look interesting. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna let them cool on the sheets for a little while. Mm. Mm, you can really taste the yuzu. So here we have yuzu cookies in early December in Tokyo. Try them at home.